We will discuss all these topics in this video. Hello dear friends, welcome to our channel, Best Project. In this video we will discuss about the topic, Wireless Vehicle Charging Station. As the world is facing the problem of increasing pollution day by day, to eliminate this problem, we are shifting from fuel vehicle to electric vehicle, but for electric vehicle required electrical power stored in the batteries, and batteries need to charge after specific time, which requires charging station. To fulfill this problem, we are working on wireless charging station, which even don't require charging plug, just need to park your vehicle at charging spot, and charging gets started automatically. Let's see the components used, to on and off the system, SPDT toggle switch is used. To provide power supply, nut connector of 5 ampere is used as shown. To step down 12 volt to 5 volt DC this voltage regulator is used because, Arduino cannot work on 12 volt DC. To turn on and off the charging spot 1, this relay is used. To control and monitor the entire system, Arduino Nano is used, it is removable, as you can see, it works as the brain of the charging system. Please like this video for our support. For fast switching operation of primary winding, the power MOSFET is used, the MOSFET model, IRFZ44N is used for this operation, to detect the vehicle at charging spot 1, this IR sensor is used, when vehicle is available, it will automatically turn on the charger. To show the status of charging spot, this 16 cross 2 LCD is used. It show the charging and non-charging status of the charging station. This black circular knob is used to adjust the LCD contrast for better visibility of characters. This black cube is a 5 volt relay. It is used to turn on and off the charging spot too, to save the power when vehicle is not available. This IR sensor detects the vehicle at spot 2 and send the status to Arduino. The primary winding of the charger is available on the back of the sticker. We will see it at the end of video. Please comment your questions in the comments section. Same for primary winding of charger 2. It is placed on the back of the setup. Time to look at the secondary winding, it is commonly placed on the downside of the car, to maintain less distance of the car from the primary winding. The end terminals are connected to an LED, to see either the power is transferring or not, it's a 7 watt LED strip. We will move the car, in this way for demonstration. This black adapter we will use, to supply the power to our system, it gives good amount of current for better charging operation. Let's connect this adapter to the setup, using the nut connector as showing. We will need to plug it to 230 volt mains for the operation. Time to turn off the setup. Name of the project is appearing on the screen. Student name are appearing. If you buy this setup, your name will be on the LCD. Now, we will see the status of charging spot 1 and 2 here. Let us see the performance by placing the car at charging spot.